Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a um, technique uh, or a workflow that I am personally using in order to uh, turn a 3D model uh, into different chunks of mesh like this right here and create uh, seamless you know, connections that uh, create these nice little lines uh, right here which are very crisp and um, add uh, additional details here in your 3D model. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. So I have previously uh, copied a, uh, the uh, bland or uh, simplified uh, mesh of this little piece right here. I'm going to paste that right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate that. And I'm going to show you how I approach um, this workflow or this uh, technique that I'm going to be showing you. So I do have a reference right here. I'm going to be... Uh, Selecting the reference along with the 3D mesh right there. I'm going to head over to the X ray mode uh, using the key Alt plus Z. And then I head over to your uh, X ray mode. Snap your, uh, you can also snap your uh, viewport to this uh, uh, axis right here. And now you're going to head over to your end mode with the tab button. And what you're going to do is you can add some edge loops with the um, key uh, control plus R. You can add an edge loop right here. Click there and um, release your, uh, uh, your button. Uh, what, what you're going to do now is you're going to head over to your scale mode. You're going to scale this down or and you're going to hit over a click on zero and you get, make sure that you do this along the Y axis to flatten out the uh, edge loop. So click on zero what you're going to do now is you're going to add uh, edge loops wherever there's a corner uh, like this one right here. Go ahead and do that. You can also uh, click on G twice. Uh, that's going to activate uh, this movement tool. It's going to move your uh, edge along the uh, lines that uh, in whichever direction that they are created. So you can do this and you can snap it to this uh, other edge that we have created. What you're going to do now is you're going to move this and now you have a perfectly straight line right there. So go ahead and add one right there. Do the same once again right here. Click double G. Do this and go ahead and do that. One more right here and we're done with this. All right. What you're going to do now is you're going to add additional uh, edge loops in order to create the desired shape. So I'm going to add another one in the uh, X direction and I'm gonna, uh, match it to the uh, shape of the uh, reference right there. <coughs> so go ahead and do that. What you're going to do now is you can uh, use the knife tool for this one. Head over to your vertice mode and uh, add some lines. That's it. Click enter. You're going to add uh, cut this uh, uh, according to the reference that you got back there. Go ahead and add another one. And you're going to be trying to uh, follow the uh, um, the uh, reference right there. Make sure that you use uh, as little connection as you can because that's going to create a bit more of a straight line uh, because hands aren't that precise. And so uh, make sure that you actually use uh, more of the vertices that you got and snap them to one another. All right, so once we got this, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of the X-ray mode using the Alt plus Z button. And I hit over to edit mode. We're going to see, we'll see what you got right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit over to uh, the uh, modify properties and add a uh, mirror. I'm going to mirror this to the other side as well. So, so I don't want to do this to the other side. It's going to save some time. Go ahead and apply this. And now we got this on the other side as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the uh, end mode and click on 3 to uh, go to the uh, polygon mode. And I'm going to head over back to the x-ray mode and I'm going to select these uh, polygons that we have got right here inside the uh, cuts uh, that we have just created. So I'm going to select these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit click on P. That's going to separate the three mesh and I'm going to click on selection. Now we have two separate 3D uh, meshes right here. We don't need the uh, reference for now. I'm going to click on edge. That's going to hide it for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here. 
and I'm going to work on the topology right here. So we got a pretty clean topology. I don't think we need to uh, do anything with this. You can also get the, um, uh, this uh, triangle right here, but uh, this doesn't really uh, uh, cause any problems, so you don't have to bother with it uh, at all. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So now what I'm going to do is uh, if you have a look at the reference. Uh, you can click on Alt plus H to bring back the hidden, uh, hidden object. You can look at the uh, reference. We got pretty sharp corners right here. So in order to achieve that, we're going to tighten up the uh, borders right there. So hit it to the end mount and tighten up the uh, borders. There you go. Uh, so as you can see, we have a little bit of a problem right here, and to fix that, you can use the knife tool for that and uh, tighten up the uh, border right there. But I want to do that because I want to take a different approach. So I'm going to uh, hide this uh, mesh right here along with the uh, reference. I'm going to head over to the end mode, and I'm going to uh, select these right here. I'm going to unselect these two uh, edges right here along with these two and the, these ones right here. Uh, maybe um, I think I might want to keep those ones. Right click and do a bridge uh, edge loops. So that's going to bridge them up for me right there. Okay. Once we've done that, we get some like this. And this is not an ideal look. In order to fix this, you select these right here. And you do a bit of an inset. You click on space and you click on inset faces. And you inset this just a bit and once you've done that a little bit as you can see this uh, along this direction we ain't got much of an insetting so we scale it down along that direction once you got this what we're going to do is i'm going to uh as you can clearly see this has improved the uh, overall look of this but we still need more in order to fix this even further what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this outer edge right here just like that and we're going to do a uh, bit of a creasing Okay, so once you uh, selected these edges right here, you're going to click on Shift plus E in order to uh, uh, crease the edge right here. Or you can head over to the uh, this uh, toolbar right here or uh, whatever the hell this is. And uh, head over to the item tab and uh, increase the uh, creasing a little bit to uh, sharpen it up. So get out the end mode as you can clearly see this is uh, much better. All right, so once we got this, uh, we can also use this to uh, crease these up right here. Even for that, you get the uh, desired shape and desired look. So go ahead and uh, select some of those edges right there and add a bit of a uh, creasing on them. But uh, this has its problems because we, we because we just we don't have enough uh, supporting edges, so it doesn't give us the ideal look. So in order to get a bit of more cleaner results, you can also add some uh, uh, supporting loops in order to uh, tighten up even further. You can also do the same right here, uh, but we don't need uh, any additional ones uh, on top because that looks good to me. Uh, in order to do the same here, you can uh, add additional ones. Uh, we can even, uh, in order to make this extra crisp, you can also uh, select the outer edge and do a, a bevel on them. That's also going to create smoother results, but I think this looks good for now. I'm going to click Alt plus H to uh, bring back the, uh, and this, uh, the mesh that we have uh, hidden earlier. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these two right here. And I'm going to select the, this arrow edge right here. I'm going to deselect these two right here. There you go, and I'm going to do a bridge edge loop. Once you got this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of an inset, and I'm going to scale this down along this uh, direction a little bit to get uh, a bit of a more uh, desired look and even uh, insetting all across the geometry. I'm going to head over to edge mode. I'm going to select these uh, outer edges just like we did before. I'm going to do some insetting, or oh, I'm sorry, creasing on them to turn it up uh, even further. All right, so once you got something like this, what I'm going to do is uh, you're going to 
also tighten up these ones right here to uh, sharpen them up just like the uh, one the other end that we had uh, did to before so once you guys select these we're gonna do a bit of a creasing on them and you get something like this on so a big level of iterations uh, in the viewport and I add some edges right here maybe some right here you can also connect these uh, ones, uh, to these two together, but uh, I don't think it's necessary because uh, we do get uh, a quad right here, so it is uh, doesn't make much of a sense to do that. But I'm still going to do it anyway to make a look, make a look a little bit more cleaner and organized. I'm going to add one right here, maybe one right here. I think we're done with this. I'm just going to add one right there, maybe. I think that's it for this one. Maybe add some right here. I think that's it. Uh, let me uh, see. I think I have a bit of a problem right here. So there you go. We got this working. You can clearly see this is a very tight fit too. So if you want to uh, maybe make this a little bit more of let's say uh, uh, crispier you can uh, do a bit of a scaling on this maybe you know select these uh, uh, edges right here and uh, bring them down a little bit to uh, free up some space right there get rid of this for now and do something like this maybe uh, same for this one right here and uh, add the uh, edge back right there so i think that's it for today's tutorial i hope you guys learned some new enjoyed it and uh had fun let me know what you think uh, and what you want to see in other tutorials i think that's it i'll see you guys take care